Welcome back again to Arinka's Kitchen. I have another family favorite recipe. It is called Hungarian Pea Vegetable Dish. Borsho Firzalik. All you will need for this recipe is two cups of peas, one uh, medium uh, onion, two cloves of garlic, 250 milliliters of uh, sour cream, one and one quarter cup of milk, two tablespoons of vegetable shortening, one teaspoon of vegeta or vegetable base, one teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper, two tablespoons of flour. So what I did was I uh, thoroughly washed the peas and then I diced the onions and the garlic into small pieces. So I have that all prepared here on a tray. So uh, the garlic and the onions. So you want two cloves of garlic and onions and then uh, two cups of peas. <clears throat> then uh, what I did was I cooked the peas until slightly firm in water in one teaspoon of salt and then I drained off the water. Then I'm going to melt uh, the vegetable shortening in a medium sized pot and I've already done that at uh, low to medium heat and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the peas, the onions, the garlic and the spices so the vegeta, the pepper and the salt. So I'm going to start beginning by doing that. So I'm going to add the onions first. So I've got the uh, vegetable shortening heated up. So I've kind of brought up the temperature to medium, medium level and then I'm going to add the uh, garlic. It, the two cloves of garlic, so I've diced them up into small pieces. So I'm just going to kind of fry this slightly. Now this was a very uh, popular dish also uh, for my grandmother and my mother, and they would serve this with uh, hamburger, the hamburger um, recipe that I have from uh, the website, and uh, the meatloaf or any type of uh, meat you could serve this with. This could also be uh, eaten alone. You know, as a, as a small uh, dinner or lunch. So I'm just going to continue doing that. I'm bringing the heat up a slightly a bit, and then I'm going to add the peas to it. So they're slightly cooked peas. So I'm going to add those into with the onions, and I'm going to continue um, frying that a bit, and then. Uh, Going, I'm going to add the, uh, the salt, so I use a sea salt, so that's one teaspoon of sea salt, so I'm going to uh, stir that around, make sure it's well stirred in there. <clears throat> now this was one of my favorites, you know, it's a really, it's a, actually quite a good dish for winter also, and on cool days, you know, it's very kind of more... Uh, a great dish to serve with uh, with meats or uh, on its own. And then what I've got is some vegeta. This is what I use. But if you're not uh, you're not able to get the vegeta, a vegetable base of your choice can also be added to it for flavoring. So I'm just going to stir that around. And it should your your uh, temperature should be at medium, and you should be. Uh, stirring it continually until you've got all the seasoning and ingredients mixed together. And then uh, add the quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper. And then what I've got here is uh, one and one quarter cups of uh, milk and then I've got the two tablespoons of flour and the 200 uh, 50 milliliters of sour cream. So what I've done is I've mixed together this thoroughly and I've made sure that there's there's not too many lumps in this uh, mixture, the sour cream flour mixture. So this is going to be added, I'm going to add this to the peas. And I'm going to bring this to a, uh, low, a slow boil. So I'm going to mix 
all of these ingredients together. And what the flour does is, is it kind of thickens it, so it's kind of like a thick, sort of like a white sauce. So I'm going to uh, continue cooking this, and I'm going to bring it to a uh, slow boil, and then it's ready to serve. So ready to serve with your uh, a main dish. It could be served on its own. And this is one great way that um, when we were small kids, this was one way for my mother to get us to eat vegetables. It was kind of a creamy kind of a base, and we really enjoyed eating it. So it, it, it got us to eat our vegetables a lot easier. And of course, I grew to, to really um, like vegetables that way. You know, I can, I can prepare it this way and give it a little bit of flavor and uniqueness. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, let this come to a slow boil and I'm going to continually stir it and then I will be back to show you what this great recipe looks like. Welcome back again to Rinka's Kitchen. I had on the stove a uh, Hungarian pea vegetable dish, Borsho Fezalek, uh, cooking on the stove and I've added the um, flour sour cream base to it, milk and ba milk base to it and um, I've brought it to a slow boil and what I'd like to do is show you this wonderful recipe. Now as you can see the um, the flour base is um, it makes the peas uh, nice and sort of like a, a creamy creamy uh, base to it. So this is great served with um, any of your favorite meat dishes are the ones that I have on my website. I have a few, like I have the uh, beef stew and I have the hamburger and uh, meatloaf recipes. So you could go on to my website and find out some more recipes um, for meat dishes. So um, I hope that you enjoy cooking this recipe for your family and friends. If you have any questions or comments about any of my recipes or the recipe for, for today, uh, you can contact me at irene at irinkaskitchen.com or irinkaskitchen.com. Until next time, bon appetit, yo et vajat.